Bismillah, you are watching the mailbox, and we've got a website called IslamMailbox.com where you can get more information about what we're talking about today. My name is Yusuf Estes, and the question just came in. It says, what happens to a baby that dies, and where does it go? This is a beautiful teaching in Islam that all children, regardless of the religion of their parents, all children go to paradise. And if the parents are believers and they're patient, this is a guarantee for them also to go to paradise. And the child is in paradise praying to Allah, Oh, let my parents be with me. Let my parents be with me. So this is a very nice teaching. Consider any other religion if, the, if somebody were to go to them, a priest or you know, a rabbi or whatever religion, and you said, Well, I'm not from your religion, but I want to know where my baby went that died and see what kind of answers you get. Because often they associate the religion of the parents with that of the child. But the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, said every child is born on the fitra of al-Islam. And this is a beautiful thing. He said also, though, that the parents are the ones that will raise them up to become whatever religion they are. Whether they're Muslim, Jew, Christian, fire worshiper, it'll be the influence of the parents, the influence of the environment around them. That's why we want to have the best kind of environment for children to know what's the truth about La ilaha illallah, Muhammad Rasulullah. Okay, we got another, just came in. Okay, what happens, it says, what happens to non-Muslims who die? We got another question about dying. What happens to non-Muslims that die and they don't have the kalama, La ilaha illallah of Islam, meaning that there's none to worship except Allah, Muhammad's a messenger. What about the people living in the jungles and desert islands and the, all the people living in remote mountain places in China and Mongolia? They live their lives doing whatever they want. They eat pork, drink alcohol, have sex, and they're going to be punished for what they don't know. Why are they going to be judged according to Quran and Sunnah? Why? And if they're not punished, then why would that be fair? And why should I be punished? How is that fair? Well, you got a lot of questions there. First of all, thank you for asking me about my religion. That's one of the things I'm trying to teach all of us to say first. Second of all, know that your question has a couple of problems in it. But in Islam, we're going to try the best to give you the truth and the proof on it. That is, that there are not that many people living out in the jungles and desert islands to start with. And in China and Mongolia, there are a lot of Muslims there right this minute and have been for many centuries. Over 40 million Chinese Muslims, in case you didn't know that. And most of Mongolia are also Muslims. But anyway, the, about those who are doing what they want to do and they don't know any better, Allah says clearly that He never punishes the people until He sent a messenger to them. So Allah is totally fair and Allah knows best what they'll have in store for them. Go to the website to get more details on this. IslamMailbox.com We're waiting for you. Assalamu alaikum. Peace be upon you. Oh, <laughs>